So My Little Pony Season 8 is back. We're in the midway point now of the season, and the thumbnail for this one is a Hearts Warming Eve special in August. Alright, alright, uh, I think they did the last uh, Christmas edition somewhere in um, October or November in season five, six, five or six it was, yeah, so yeah. Here's to another Hearts Warming Eve special. Happy Hearts Warming in August, everyone. What's up, every pony, fillies, and genicals, and all the ponies of ages? Welcome to the return of My Little Pony Season 8 midway point of the season. So yes, My Little Pony is back. Uh, they, they released a promo um, during the week, uh, well, last week, um, that it would return on um, on the hub. Yeah, on the hub. And uh, yeah, and they premiered it uh, last weekend. Uh, so yeah, and what did they premiere for the midway point, of the start of the midway point? A Christmas episode in August. I mean, why not? We all loved the last um, Hearts Warming Day special, or Hearts Warming Eve special in like season 5 or season 6, like I just said at the start of the intro. Um, but yeah, um... I reckon uh, there's going to be musical, musical numbers in this episode. Although I did hear a tweet from the one and only Ashley H. Uh, as you guys, as the many fan base will know, Ashley H. She tweeted out that uh, that the I think I think she said that the episode for her was a huge letdown. Mainly because of the musicals that have been involved in this episode. And I think most of you guys agree. So, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to get into, really, during this episode. Because I haven't really entitled into my own opinion yet. Because I haven't, I mean, saying that, I can't say what I can really view out really because I haven't even watched the episode yet but once I do I will give you my full entitled opinion on what I think about the musical numbers but yeah that that is a tweet from what I saw from Ashley H and most of you guys will have uh, seen it too but yeah with all that being said let's get ourselves to the side and we will start the start midway point of season 8 this is My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 8, Episode 15. The episode is called A Heart Warming Club. So let's begin in 3, 2, 1. Heart Warming Eve is here once again. Play. Here we go. Yep. Yeah. Tony's voices fill the night Hearts warming hey! Eve is here once again Come on every creature Sing La 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 Hearts warming Eve is here once again Come on, sing along La 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 Not every creature hey. favorite Sing with <laughs> no. Yeah, dragons don't do Yeah, you, you Sure we do I love hearts. You need a lot of presents. It's all about friends, presents, and family, and presents. It's also about and, and the presents. Five differences to come together. Yes. Like the Earth ponies, Pegasi, and unicorns did on the first holiday. Oh, 
Is that why you put their fire of friendship on top of the tree? To help us remember their unity? And because it looks cool. This is my favorite day of the year. But year. most importantly, the concept of unity. <laughs> Not that I don't like the other ones. Tuesdays are great. Not because of this um, yeah, like high top. Uh, flashy. Two whole weeks flashy of classes. Things. How will Ocella survive? I think you'll all enjoy the time off to be home with your families to celebrate your own traditions. Attention, every creature. School is officially out. Happy holidays, and we'll see you after the break. <laughs> happy holidays! And, for those of you and happy summer to, to all the yeah, school kids out there as well. <laughs> you missed that train. It's a really long walk. With each day, you got six we'll weeks. <laughs> It's that new bow tie I wanted, isn't it? You'll have to wait and see. I'm waiting, but in the meantime, I'm shaking. Trixie? I've seen in a cape before. Trixie, there's one. T Rex. Could it be T Rex? I, I thought they obliterated T Rex though. Well, Twilight, mostly. Or <laughs> well, it could be a new developing hero. A hero? What am I saying? Ooh. Villain! Yeah, it's Deadpool. <laughs> what? What happened? Everything's ruined. That's what's happened. And I don't think it was an accident. Some pony was up here. Over there. There. Who are you? That's the students' quarters. Might as well give up, whoever you are. We got you cornered. Oh, Rainbow, Hello? you're gonna jump into conclusions. Is anybody there? Oh, straight to the conclusion. What's happening? Oh, another decorating party? Has any creature uh, come in here? Well, yeah, all of us. Speaking of the decoration the is. Do? After that, did you hear anything? <laughs> you know. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. What's up? Yonatan packing! Is something wrong? <laughs> the back door's locked! No way out! But whoever did it had to have come in here. We saw them. Whoever did what? Whoa, that is so not cool. And whoever oh. did it ran into your rooms. No one came out. And all of you are still here. One of you must have done this! But why would any of you want to sabotage Heart's Warming Eve? Uh, no, no, it was me. Oh, yeah, uh, is this going to be one of these episodes the where it's going to be who's done it? Who's the culprit? Maybe this wasn't even up All right, Twilight, time to bring out the heart and the chance to tell the truth and explain themselves. And the jacket and everything, and to be Pleasure. all like Hamlet. Or Sherlock. Yeah, Sherlock is the best option now, for us. if you did this, <laughs> raise your hoof. Or claw. Or whatever. <sighs> Come on, Spike. Looks like we have to... Spike, you can open your eyes. What? Oh! What's it? Uh, what about me? You all can. <laughs> But, since no creature took responsibility for this mess, you're all going to have to help clean it up before you can go home. Oh, no, 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 no. Why do I have to stay? Oh, but the holidays! While you're cleaning, we'll bring you into my office one at a time. Since honesty is one of the elements of crime, we want to give 
You just suck Twilight. You're giving these ponies and other creatures the holiday, and now you're giving them work again. The guilty party won't be going home over Hearth's warming break. She or he will stay here for some one-on-one -on -one friendship lessons. But what if none of us confesses? Then, <sighs> I guess there's no holidays for any creature. You'll all stay over the break. <gasps> Let's get to the bottom of this. Who wants to be interviewed first? Uh, I'll go. It's my pity. Hey, I know! We can make a game out of this! See who finishes cleaning up first! Woohoo! Yes, win! Yes, best at cleaning! <laughs> Yuck, clean. Let's save time and cut to Yuck, the chase. Yuck, clean's cloth. Which one of you did it? Going home for it. Huh. But huh. I didn't even know Changeling celebrated hearts for me. Who would? Oh, yes. It's our favorite holiday. Well, since Hedmer Twilight shared it with us last year, she gave our hive very clear instructions. <clears throat> Welcome to the traditions and fun of hearts warming. Here's a guide to help you enjoy the celebration of pony history. Families start the holidays by putting the tree up. Okay. So, was this during when Starlight uh, changed the changelings into these, and then Twilight gave the message out? Before bed, every pony exchanges gifts. It doesn't say how long we keep doing this. <laughs> and to finish celebrating, you can build a fire, light it up. And sing carols. Carols, 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 carols. <laughs> <laughs> you might have misunderstood things just a little. Eh, we may not have done everything exactly the way you do, but we made our own traditions, and I can't wait to do it all again this year, if we ever get out of here. Acellus, your turn. Oh, Dad, she's looking all serious. What, what do you think happened? I told her I didn't do it. Ah! Yona tired of waiting! Yak's always home for holidays! How do you celebrate hearts warming in Yak Yakistan, Yona? Yaks do not! Our holiday much better! It's called Snail Dark Fest! Night before, Yaks gather things to smash and put them in big piles. Then, in morning, we smash them! In afternoon, we smash them again! In evening... So, it's just about smashing stuff, like all your other holidays. No! How Griffin get that idea? This holiday, about so much more! Last year, for example, most perfect snail dart ever! All family! Grandpa, Grandma, yeah! Yona's brother, sister, mother, father, yeah! All go to woods, singing yak songs! So, is... So when they, so when they smash the items, do they smash like other things as well? I mean, yaks are huge creatures, but I don't know if they're like leaf. Your holiday is about smashing things and family. Two most perfect things ever put together. Happy Snail Dart Fest! <laughs> Happy right. Snail Dart to you too, Yona! It's so 
cool to learn new traditions and make new friends. Don't stop. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. Well, You're too soft. Don't do it. gotten us all in trouble, and they better confess soon. Sambar? Sorry, but they said they want you to go in next. Why the rush to get home, Smolder? Like you said, dragons don't really have holidays. Do they? Me. <gasps> That's so sad. You must do something in oh, the Oh, poor Spike fun. and... Well, we do have the Feast of yep. Fire. Boy, Every dragon okay. gets together and tells stories. And the best one Yonder. wins a pile of gemstones. Ooh, what story won last year? It was called A Dream Come True. Come on, now you gotta tell it! Ah, uh, fine. Once upon a time, there was this sad little dragon. Her name was Scales. She lived alone in the wilderness with nothing It looks to like eat. a grown-up version of Spike. But one night, as she sat alone in the storm, she heard something. It was the Dragon Lord! Scales was scared, but the Dragon Lord told her not to be afraid. That he was taking her to the Dragon Lands for a great feast. Dragon City fans, where you at? <laughs> not that I don't play. Scales sat with the Dragon Lord's family and friends and had the biggest, best dinner of gemstones she ever eaten. Then, while the dragons were telling stories, Scales thought it would be so easy to seize power from this feeble and sensitive dragon lord. Uh. She saw her chance and took it. Rebel! She the bloodstone scepter and took over the dragon lands. Rebel! <laughs> and forced the dragon lord to live out in the cold, just as she used to. That's a horrible story! Maybe to you, but dragons like hearing about weak kind creatures getting defeated. Silver Street, you're up. Let's go. Silver Street. So, did you tell him you did it? What? No way. Why would I say that? You already live in Ponyville. Staying here over break is no big deal. School of Friendship, good place for Pony to a Pony holiday. I'd still rather spend it with my family at home. Oh, that reminds me. I have the best holiday story ever. It's called The Day My Heart's Warming Doll Almost Fell Into the Fire. Oh. Just before we went to bed, my mom, my dad, my sister all put our heart's warming dolls up on the mantle, just oh, like we do every sister. year. But this year, I put my doll too close to the edge and it fell. No! <laughs> My doll hit the floor, but oh. <laughs> she's gone in the fire. That's a great story, and you told it really well. Yeah, it was a heartwarming miracle. Next! Smolder, come with me. Yona, Twilight's waiting for you. Okay, Smolder and Yona. Last two, so if neither one of them said Yona. Misses, that means <laughs> earlier on. We're never going home! I've got most of these students' names. We'll be here forever! Beyond forever! But I can't miss the three days of freedom celebration! How long does that last? It used to be only one day, but now to commemorate our escape from the Storm King, we're adding two more days of awesome! See? There's a book? Mm-hmm. Queen Novo had these made for the Mount Eris Board of Tourism to explain it all to guests. Okay. We'll spend the first night in Sequestria, thanking the ocean for protecting us from the Storm King. Hey, Storm King! Sea dancing, whale singing, shell stringing, lots of things. The second day will be on Mount Eris. With sky dancing and a wind song at the Harmonizing Heights to celebrate the Storm King's defeat. <laughs> Harmonizing Heights. In the third day, every creature will party together on land and sea. Grandparents and parents and sisters, uncles, brothers, acquaintances, neighbors, and cousins. Okay. And at the end of the night, we know who is going to give us presents. Wait, hold on. 
Cousins? What are those? Your aunts and uncles' children? You know, part of your family. <laughs> oh, you're teasing us again, right? I'm guessing neither one of you can fast. <sighs> and their toilets and wait here. Maybe they're changing their minds about sending us home. Why would they? Face it, we're stuck here. But, but, but I have to go home. My mom makes the best kelp fritters. How can you be so cool about this? We're mad. We just show a different thing. Oh. More like you don't show it at all. What are we getting at? Maybe it wasn't just one prankster. Maybe there were three of you. And you're trying to hide your guilt by not being upset. It does it make... It could be more than one. Guys, stop it. Or maybe whoever He's the did most it calm is only pretending to be upset to throw us off. Me? But I didn't! Come on, let it go. No, he, he's quite suspicious. Come on! Ocellus, you know you did it. Just mess up! Yeah, look, he's about to... That's not what the holidays are about! No matter what you call them, or how you celebrate. Do, do you know how lucky you all are? With your stories about sharing and, and kindness and getting together with every creature that you care about? Oh. But griffins do that too, don't they? Some holiday about a moon? <sighs> Blue Moon Festival. The one time of year when griffins are nice to each other. Well, as nice as we can be. Families get together to eat and then complain about the food and give each other presents they don't like. And hey. also just try not to yell at each other. Gilda, well, and, at least you um... get to be with your family. No. Oh no. Because I don't. <laughs> what was the family. other ones? What was the other one's name? What about Grandpa Gruff? That's just his name. He's not any Gruff's actual grandpa. I'm so like sorry. I, I just woke up from bed this morning. Still a little tired. And I came here, and well, met all of you. So my brain's not up to shit. So I don't yet. want to go home for the break, and that's why I did it. <gasps> Griffin messed up decorations? Yeah, yep. it was me. I put goo powder in the fire of friendship. Yeah. Uh, so it wasn't a Celis? Why would you ruin things for us? I didn't plan to. I just figured if I made a mess, our teachers would make us stay to clean up. We'd be together a little longer. Well, it worked, didn't it? Better than I thought. When Headmare Twilight threatened to cancel winter break, that meant I would get to be with all of you through the entire holiday. That's why I didn't confess. So why are you admitting this now? I hated seeing all you fighting and, and blaming each other. That's the opposite of what all your holidays mean. Except maybe yours, Smolder. <laughs> I can't keep all of you from the happiness of your homes and families just because I feel bad. I'm sorry. Don't worry, we won't have to tell our teachers. I will. You don't have to. We already know. What? We kind of guessed it was you. But we wanted to give you the chance to tell the truth. I'm proud that you did. And I'm glad to see you've been paying attention in Professor... Are Ray you serious? Classes. But you're still gonna have to make amends. And stay over break for extra friendship lessons. By yourself. I'll stay with him. Me too! Are you freaking kidding me? I'm staying. You knew it was him all along. What? Twilight, you should oh, know better. Right. I guess pony holidays can't be that bad. Oh. Now you can finally know what it's like to spend hearts warming okay, with friends that, you care about. That one really kind of peed me off, that. But they don't really need any extra lessons. Since you obviously know that hearts warming is about coming together, I'd be honored if all of you would join my friends as guests at our holiday table. Yes! <laughs> After we finish cleaning up. Hey, this reminds me of another story. The time I almost spilled grape juice on the white couch. Does it have a depressing ending? I'm not sure pony what? stories work that way. Um, Gallus want Yona okay. play feather? Uh, pass. Hearts warming! This year was a good! Hey! 
Where was the musicals, though? Where the freak was the musicals? Okay, um... The episode was decent. The episode was decent, I'll say that. The, th the thing, and I mentioned this just earlier on, the thing that just really peeved me off was all that investigation going on for who really did pour that g purple goo on the Christmas tree. And it turned, and it turned out that Twilight knew all along. She just wanted to, like, be the investigator all over again for the Pony Express train that we saw from season season one and yeah that just really peed me off that from from the very ending because she knew all along and she kept it hidden in herself for for the for the whole duration of that episode dash dash didn't even say anything as well she she just well just like Call every pony out to Twilight's office, and then just put them back, put them back in the room, and um, yeah, and uh, they carried on the process on and so forth until um, the Griffin's name, who I don't know, confessed his reasons of how he does it traditionally, and then Twilight and Dash comes in, and and then Twilight says, "That's all right, we already know." We already know. You, you, d what, like, did you, did you know from the start that he did it? Or did you know that, that his heritage of Griffins can be this, this cruel and, and reckoning? I'm, I'm just, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm at a bit of a, um, I'm at a bit of a leader, leader, leader loss. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's how I sum it up. Uh, anyway, shout out to the leader nation out there. You know who I'm talking about. Um, yeah, this episode was bizarre from the very end. Well, it was alright in the start. It was all in the start, I was getting suspicious, like, ooh, who did it? Like, and I was like, ooh, is there going to be a villain coming in to this? Because dropping all the goo onto the tree, very evil he liked to do. Midway point, I was like, oh, so it's one of the students, so it's not going to be one of the villains. I was like, alright, who did it? Who did it? I couldn't think of, I couldn't think of even one. I thought all of them were incident. But then I saw that the Griffin was all cool, calm, and collected, and everything. And I was like, "Okay, that guy there, that that blue Griffin there, is my main suspicion character." And then at the end, um, okay, he confessed. He confessed uh, his reason. And I was like, "Aha! I knew it. I knew it was him. I got it." And then Twilight comes in. That's okay. We already know that. And I was like. Yeah, you, you you know my, you you know the reaction I put up there. It was decent, but it was dumb. It, I was dumb. I was dumbfounded by everything. It was so, so dumb. But anyways, if you enjoyed the start of my. Mid-season, season 8, episode 15, I think this episode was. Um, I'll just put it out what the exact episode is. But if you have enjoyed my video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And after that, if you are new around to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And after that, hit that bell. Turn on the notifications bell for more updates for when I upload my next video onto my YouTube channel. And then after that, if you want to comment down below, go ahead and do so if you want to say everything about this video and what are your thoughts about this video. 
of of of, of, of this midway start of the midway episode. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was decent, but it was also like like really like kind of lacking because. You, you you expect a Christmas episode like this to have a lot of musicals, a lot of songs to put into it, but yeah, it didn't, and that just really, really didn't set set the episode right, really, for this episode. So yeah, that's 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 some of the crucial key key parts that you have to have in an episode. And not just an MLP episode, but a kind of a special episode, really. Um, so yeah, that's what I think. But let me know what you... I want to know what you guys um, think of it. So yeah, please like, subscribe and comment. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care and goodbye.